PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Y'all see where to follow your boy at. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk about it, man. We are talking about Melly Mel, the OG, one of the pioneers of hip-hop. Has a lot to say in a lot in my Sue Surf voice. And, you know, some things he says I agree with. Some things he said I don't agree with, right? Like, I guess my biggest gripe with Melly Mel is critiquing rappers and you're not really familiar with their catalog or you're not, you're not listening to the music at all. So to have a strong opinion and poke your chest out is going to look kind of crazy to the hip hop masses. Now, like I said, there's some things that he says that I agree with. Now, he was on, what's is the Art of Dialogue? I believe it's the Jay-Z Hate Train um, podcast, whatever, our YouTube page. Uh, and Melly Mel says, Nicki Minaj, where I guess she was ranked higher than LL Cool J, and Rakim. In my easy to block captain voice, bullet, bullet, bullet. Like is that, that, that just crazy? Like that's that's. I'm sorry, respectfully. This is a Archie Bunker recipient. <clears throat> Nikki, it's not your fault. It's the people that made the list. I'm talking to sister, so I'm not trying to get at you. But there's no way in hip hop, especially like a person like myself that was here in the 80s, that I'm going to put Nicki Minaj over Rakim Allah and LL Cool J. I, I'm just not doing that, man. Some people might say, you know, he's been real harsh and everything on some of the comments he makes, but I don't think Melly Mel, there was no lie detected at all on his, on his, on, on his commentary about Nicki and LL and Rakim. Only thing Nikki and, and LL got in common is that they from Queens. That's it. Like, Brand Nubians had a song called Slow Down. Slow Down. R.I.P. True. R.I.P. Dave from De La Soul. Wall your roller coasters. Wall your roller coasters. Slow down. What are we doing here? Let's let's have some hip hop perspective. Before you make a this is why these lists be kind of crazy. I know it's objective or subjective. But man, if you're gonna do lists, man, you gotta sound like you know you know what you're talking about, bro. And respectfully to put Nicki Minaj over LL and Rakim is a hip hop embarrassment, respectfully, man. And I'm not even trying to be that guy. I know the Bobs, they go crazy and everything. I mean, shout out to the Bobs and everything. I got nothing but love for Nicki Minaj. Let me tell you. I respect female hip hop, whether it's hip hop music or battle rap. So I always respect the ladies' pen and what they what ladies have brought to the culture of hip hop. If you go on this channel, you see I did a segment about um, Foxy Brown, and Little Kim. Me and Watson for for a hot minute for years, we saluted a lot of females. Just having talking about females in hip hop. If you know me already, you know how much I love Foxy Brown, right? But to put Nikki over LL Cool J, ladies love Cool J. I can't live without my radio, LL. The guy who really coined the phrase, calling himself the GOAT. Before this GOAT talking about and, you know, GOAT talk. I'm not talking about King of Egypt, just GOAT talk. LL was the real first one who really started talking that GOAT-ish. And to be honest, no one had a problem, you know, with it. Like, to my South brothers, when T.I. was saying he's the king of the South, some of y'all didn't have a problem with that. Or when Lil Wayne was calling himself the, the greatest rapper alive, and some of y'all didn't have a problem with that either. So, you know, it is what it is. Right. Um, but just L, L, I've been listening to L, since 85. I think people forget, when you look at LL's run, dog, we give, like I said, Rakim, Slick Rick, 
You put Dougie Fresh in there. You put Houdini, Fat Boys, um, Karis, One, Slick Rick, Kane, all G Rap, Guru, and all these cats. LL's longevity from being in the '80s. What LL dropped his first album? '85, I think. So from '85 to in the '90s. So let's think about this for a second. For decade '85 to '95, LL was still relevant. It was still relevant. I, I see people on Twitter trying to kill LL. Oh, dog, we we not doing that, dog. I'm sorry. I don't know where era y'all from. But for me, a person like me who's outside, I would never, ever ish on LL Cool J. The only beef I had with LL Cool J is when the verses, talk, the verses was being spoken about. And he was acting like he was too good to, to um, go on the verses with Busta Rhymes and, and those guys. Yeah, LL, I'm sorry. <clears throat> you got to get an Archie Bunker Wolf for that too, LL. You played yourself acting like you were too good to, to um, do a verses with KRS-One or Busta Rhymes. Come on, LL, we're not doing that. Mad love for you, my brother, but relax, all right? Like, we can't. LL and Rap City. I mean, Mama said Knock You Out album. Like, relevant in 95 still was relevant going into the 2000 era. What are we talking about? Like, in longevity wise, Nicki Minaj is not even in the same stratosphere as LL Cool J, respectfully. I know some of y'all think Black Friday is a classic. Shout out to y'all. But I don't put that, I don't got that album over Mama Said Knock You. I'm sorry, I don't. Hello, how many verses, how many collaborations, the Rampage with EPMD? The Ripper, the Master, the Overlordian, playing MC like an old accordion. You, man, stop playing with, with LL, man. The 4321 joint with, 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 um, what um Red Man and Method Man and DMX and them? He has versus fire. Your naive incompetence gets crushed by my dominance. Yo, come on, son. We not doing that. Y'all not play LLI in these hip hop streets, dog. We not doing that. Come on, man. I shot you with, with Pete Prodigy, Keith Murray and them, and Fat Joe. And th that's who LL was the one that showed us Foxy Brown. We didn't even know who Foxy was, and we see you know on there like, wow, who is this chick? Let me not do it. Talk. Let me not do LL like that, bro. I'm sorry, man. Booming system around the way, girl. Them songs mean something to me, bro. Okay. Pink cookies in a plastic bag. Getting crushed by buildings. I, I, I never understood the concept, but oh, whatever. His verse on you know, flavor in your ear. He, she. Uh, like, okay. Delicious. I didn't take to it. I think he had the, the lightest verse on flavor in the air, respectfully. Even Rampage had a better. All right. Stay focused. Welcome me right quick. But yeah, you, we're not going to put Nicki Minaj over LL Cool J fan. We're not doing that, respectfully. And then we go to The God, Rock Him A Lot, The 17th Letter. Stop playing with me, dog. Rock Him A Lot, The God. I can say, I seen Rock Him once. And to say I seen Rock Him live, that means the world to me. I was able to see I seen Rock Kim. I was able to see Biggie. I didn't I never I never seen Tupac. But to see those brothers mean the world to me. And we're talking about Rock Kim a lot. You ask the average person, the guys who battled before, I mean battled, the guys who wrote Melly Mel's of the world, he said it himself. Um, I saw Jay-Z recently spoke about, about Rock Kim. The way the guys are rapping before Rock Kim came into the game, and when he came and emerged. Bro, he changed the game of rapping. Let me say that again. Rock Kim changed the game of rapping. He has offsprings out here. Hi, Nas. Hi, Nas here, Jones. Nas Escobar, moving on your reproduction. Yeah, him, Nas. Dr. Knockboot. Stand up, Dr. Knockboot. Nas in. Well, okay, cool. We rock him a lot. He birthed a whole generation of rap. I'm sorry. He literally changed the game. Ask Jay Z what it meant to to y'all get at Jay Z all the time. Ask Hove what it meant to get a Rock Kim verse. Or when he got the watcher, um, the verse for the watcher or the blueprint too. You think that didn't mean the world? To we just saw Jay Z hugged up. 
Rakim just what, a month ago when he when he seen him. Like when you see Rakim, it's like dog. You got it. I don't care if Jay's money's like this. That's Rakim. That is Rakim. Actually, give Minaj, man. She probably tell you herself that. She wouldn't even put herself over LL and, and Rakim. If you, I'm pretty sure you ask her, she'd probably be like, ugh. I, mean, I, I like that y'all did that, but that's kind of like, ugh. Whew. He changed the game and to be at number 14, that's, I, I'm sorry. When, when me and my brother Watson did a list of the 80s rappers, I had Rakim at number one. I believe he had Rakim at number three. So we wasn't way too off. In terms of 80s rappers, Rakim is number one to me. And you see how many Mel spoke about Rakim and he spoke about G-Rap? You talking about Rakim, the brother that said, I, I, took, I took seven MCs and put them in a line. And that's seven more brothers that think they could rhyme. I'll take seven more before I go for mine. That's 21 MCs ate up at the same time. I don't think I understand what that, what those, what, what kind of those kind of lyrics mean to us, bro. Paid in Full is a certified classic. The only song on Paid in Full that was got got juice respectfully was Chinese arithmetic. Rock. I never understood this song. China. I, I, I never understood that song. We're not doing our kid like that, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Ask these brothers about Rakim, man. Ask KRS One. Even though I wanted to see a KRS One and Rakim's verses, but whatever. With all due respect to Nicki Minaj, man. Fam, I don't even have her over salt and pepper. Latifa. MC Light. Rod Digger. Kim and Fox. Eve. I even like Heather B. song. I kind of go with MOP more than any nigga. Listen, I'm not trying to. Listen, man. I give Nicki Minaj all the props in the world for what she's done for female hip hop. And I'm not trying to slight the sister at all. But I just, I'm respectfully, I don't have her over a lot of female MCs. I don't have Nicki over Foxy. Sorry, I don't. Like, what Foxy did for Jay-Z on Ain't No... Yeah, that's... That Foxy, fam. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, bud. So, I... I, I what, 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 what the brother Melly Mel saying about that is, is, is BS. I gotta agree with him, bro. Respectfully. On some hip-hop-ish. There ain't no way in the world. I got Nicki over... And ranked over LL Cool J and Rakim. Dogs. Leave comments at the bottom, man. Tell me what y'all think, man. One.